Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am back as administrator of Space Base DF9. We have a derelict. Actually, we have a number of derelicts, but I figure I'd better start investigating them. So uh, I'm setting these beacons out there to tell the security staff that they might want to go and investigate this giant hulk of a spaceship that's just randomly plopped down there. Uh, I hope they will be smart about it. Anyway, uh, also, we're going to go and try and work on improving some bits and pieces here. What I want to do is get rid of this wall here. There, demolish it. That's it. Because I need to extend the refinery area so that I can build more refinery units. We've had some problems with refinery fires, and I figure that's just simply because, well, the tech is because the technicians are inept, really. But I think having two uh, refinery units will at least half the chance that uh, they screw them both up simultaneously. I don't know. I'm just figuring out. Hey, the bar seems to be popular. I should probably extend this. Yes, sirree, this oxygen recycler is in good working order. Aru Star Star Fiercely Star, the technician. Yes, uh, that is quite a name you have there. <laughs> Eva Yar, I haven't been this happy at work in a while. Yay! Jeremy Storm, I haven't been this happy at work in a while. Ooh, am I turning into one of those perpetually positive people? I hope so, because bringing the moustache to the... Oh, wait, mining is pretty boring, but I like being out in space. Aha! Justin Dax, Justin Dax. You seem to be taking the plunge as security, and we also have a security and another ship coming. I like the helmet on the, the security suits. They kind of have this flat top helmet or something instead of the, the I don't know, the spherical ones. Oh my god, bad guy! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, well, so much for that. Um, dead, dead. Oh, and we get a new guy. Hello, greetings, salutations, place to crash. Uh, ye well, given that we lost someone, we might just... Uh, should I? Yes, let's take him. Glad to hear it. Welcome aboard. And there we are. Hey, two, two, new, two new people, which is great. So we lost one and we gained two more. And what can we, these guys do? Well, we could make them security since uh, <laughs> we since we have some other derelicts to check. Let's do that for now. Maybe there's some there's another room there. I hope it doesn't come with more raiders. Let's go in there. Oh look, they're they're getting straight down to business. Hey, you've been traveling for ages, and the first thing you want to do is come and check out this place. And the bartender. It says we need a bartender. Why is, why do we need a bar? But we've got a bar there. I don't quite. Oh. Is there a bar in this place? Is that what it is? Okay. Come on, Chris. Go and check this place. Chris 084506. 084506. That's very, you know, that is a magnificent surname you have there. Um, maybe it's like, you know, numbers like letters 00 S A 0. I never mind. I can't make a word out of that. We have another derelict, though. Click derelict. Explore that and try not to die this time. Okay, uh, what else is going on? A new citizen, Chris. We got some stuff here. You know what? We only have six beds in here. Maybe we should extend some stuff. Or oh, construct, construct. Uh, refinery. Yeah, let's stick the refinery in here. Refinery. We need to uh, take some load off of that machine because it's been threatening to explode for a while. A good thing I have that fire extinguisher sitting just there. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to fit another one of these in this area. It looks like I'm going to have to expand another wall. I haven't really been thinking about what I'm doing here. Uh, this is a terribly designed base. I know it's terribly designed, but honestly, this is just it's called growing organically, right? It will grow and accommodate, and efficiency um, will... Is, efficiency can be dull. There's no art in efficiency. Okay. Um, I wonder if the bags under my eyes are noticeable. Uh, I don't know. You've got giant, crazy eyes. I'm not sure what bags under your eyes look like. Clarice Washburn, a new face at the base. Someone called Eva Yar. But wait, Eva's been there longer than anyone, hasn't she? Uh, and she's a bartender. I mean... She's been here longer than anyone serving. Oh my god, wait, did he just say he likes broccoli noodles? That is ridiculous. Broccoli noodles? Are, are they. Okay. 
Very interesting. And why is that person holding the door open? Okay, never mind. Let's uh, let's start getting some more uh, bedroom areas. We need some more bedroom areas for people to sleep in. I guess we'll build we'll build like a couple of private bedrooms here, right? So that we can allocate them to the most important people in the on the station. So start here. We'll just like make this one come off the oxygen room. There we go. Confirmed. Build away. Build away. Build away. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to extend the bar as well, because the bar seems to be quite a popular venue with its uh, moody lighting and sign of a pizza on the wall. I bet you they all get together and they watch that pizza sign and they're like, wow, the pizza sign. Maybe I should have a pizza sign and like a hamburger sign and they can like place bets on which one is going to win. Um, you know, just just guessing i'm just trying to think of something that would make the bar more entertaining okay uh sir clarice clarice you are the one investigating this derelict try not to die oh i have so much energy right now i feel like i could take on the world which is pretty good because you might have to nope nobody in there and nice hairstyle and nobody in there excellent well hopefully you don't find the entire world in here and, oh, excellent! You instead found a tiny power room. And you're chatting with it. You're chatting with a power room. Um, which A power room which is too small to actually contain a power generator. I'm not sure what those aliens were planning when they left that day. I mean, I guess there's a reason why it's derelict. It's now stranded in space because they built it with a power room too small to actually contain a power generator. Okay, well, Clarice, you're now reallocated to building. Chris, you're a technician. We don't need any more security staff right now. Excellent. Okay, we need to build things. And it still says my pub needs a bar for citizens to drink at. Place a bar. Oh, greetings and salutations. We are looking for a place to crash. Oh, of course, come here. Drop off more people. We now have 10 people who we can allocate to important duties. Okay, you're a technician because we always need technicians. And you, wait a second, Penny, you could be a bartender, but we have two bars, but we should probably, we probably need to actually make this bar work. I mean, it's a really interesting bar that we've got over there with its um, you know, dead body decor. I wonder if the bodies will get cleared away at some point. I mean, maybe we could just stuff Justin Dax and that raider and just kind of have them sitting in the corner as part of the bar scenery. You know, like the way people have stuffed animals. What? I guess I should start introducing myself. I'm going to be with these people for a long time. And so Penny goes in and says hi to the dead bodies. Great. <laughs> I don't quite get that, but hey. You're in space and you're serving drinks in space. That's excellent. <laughs> Life support zone. Oh, look, they're building out the extra rooms. We'll have to... Uh, I wonder who will get those rooms. Is there a way to actually allocate the rooms to people that you really think need deserve them? Uh, I'm presuming they're not going to be... It's not in this version right now, but it's something I would like. Okay, going to extend this. Actually, I'm not going to extend this. I'm going to build an airlock because everybody uses that airlock there. So, yeah, we're going to make sure this is big enough. And then we're going to add doors, airlock doors, airlock door. Come on. Oh, cancel. Never mind. I'll wait for this thing to build because it would be unfortunate if we built the airlock door and we didn't have the airlock on the other side. Oh, look at them jumping. They're, they, they think they're working out, but really they're dancing. What we need is... What we need in the bar is like some turntables and stuff, an entertainment system as well as a bar. Okay. How are we doing? This is growing up here, and the pup does still needs a thing, but I don't really care. Hello, we'd like to come across your base now. Thanks, sorry if my transmission sounded terse. I think I've got too used to the character limit on my space face logs. I promise we'll be friendlier inside. You'd better be. Oh, two more people. Uh, which means we are even more lacking beds at this time. I'm not sure what to do about that, but we'll probably build more beds. I mean, uh, do these guys get, like, 
Do they not mind sharing rooms? Is a double bunking good idea? Triple bunking? I don't know. Or should I just have one giant dorm room? Okay. Next. Give me... Give me, give me objects. Doors. Door. Door to the bedroom. Door to this bedroom. There we go. Yes, you have private doors. One of you has to go through the other dorm. But, uh... The other has to go through the oxygen room. Okay. Residents. Space beds. I'm trying to fit space beds. Why are they red? They don't want to fit. They don't want to fit. They don't want to fit. Um, we have... Oh, I know. I need to make a residential zone. Residential zone. Residence. Residence. Okay. Now we can build the space beds. Space beds. I'm sleeping at space beds. They're so comfy and keep me warm. Space beds in my space bedroom with my space rug. I'm ke <laughs> Oh, God. Right, yes, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. Uh, the official Spacebed anthem as brought to you by Spacebed Incorporated. Manufacturers of space hardware from all over the universe. Spacebeds, the place to sleep, the place to be when you're being tired. And I think is someone, you know what we should actually do? We should build, we should build a bar here because somebody keeps coming over to check to see if there's a bar here and then they're disappointed that it has, you know, it's kind of dead. Because it's full of dead bodies, you know. Uh, <laughs> yes, the raider is still there. I, 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 there's a funny smell in this bar. I'm not sure this is up to health code at this time. Justin Dax. Oh look, I haven't been this happy at work in a while. Oh man, are you turning into one of those perpetually positive people? No, you were about to turn into one of those perpetually dead people. <laughs> Work is going awesome right now. Well, uh, it didn't stay that way for long. Activity, being dead. It's been too long since I got so did something. I like how the Raider actually has a space book page. You can check the Raider's space book page. That's funny. <laughs> this daily grind is getting to me. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Um, going to try erasing... These people, nope, can't, I can't erase these people, that doesn't work. Can't demolish these people. I, I just want to, you know, I kind of want them to either be turned into, you know, museum exhibits or I want them to go away. Okay, let's build the airlock out. Airlock uh, doors, airlock doors, airlock doors, objects, doors, airlock door. We need one there and one there. Excellent. So that will get to let people use them to get in and out. And I guess I also need to have airlock spacesuit lockers. And no spacesuit locker. Why? Did, oh, yeah, of course. Rezone it. Rezone it as airlock. You know what, guys, game dev people, you should make it that if somebody tries to put a room specific item in an unclassified room, that it automatically reclassifies it for you. Seriously? That would save me a lot of time because I'm stupid and lazy and I will accept whatever I do. Okay, demolish the wall. We're just going to knock out the wall at the back of this bar while everybody's having a drink. <laughs> okay. So what are we doing here? Do an airlock, spacesuit locker. Yes. Go, no. I, so you can only place them on the north side. Is there a way to rotate the map? That would be kind of nice. Oh, Clarice Washburn is a better builder now. Excellent, excellent. Construct, construct. Life support zone is on fire. Where? Not good. Let's put fire extinguishers out there. I'm going to put a fire extinguisher. Oh, fire extinguisher in the life support zone. Yes, let's put fire extinguishers in every room that where things can catch fire because... Apparently things like catching fire lots. Yes, even a fire in the bedroom because the space beds are going to catch fire. Maybe we should put, should we put a fire extinguisher in the airlock either as a I don't know, as a in case you don't want to evacuate it. Okay, life support is on fire and is out now. 
One of your citizens has caused an accident due to incompetence or low morale. Assign citizens to duty they excel at and ensure their needs are met. I am not even looking at their needs, but I tell you what they need. Oxygen. How's that for meeting their needs? Everybody needs oxygen. We all love oxygen. Oxygen is like, is the life of the party. Speaking of party, let's put a bar in here as well, another bar. Because, you know, if we have a bar, two bars, we can serve twice as many people. Or get the same number of people twice as drunk. That's the standard equation of bars, right? With my newly expanded drinking facilities, I think it's time we uh, finish up this video. There will be more if you want it. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.